What's going on guys? We're Wolfie30 here today on the channel. We're starting something new. We are trying 60 seconds reatomize. Get into it. Go with Batman. Odd choice. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Throw her down. Throw her down. Not important. Can I grab myself? Oh, oh my god. This, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Axe. Be important. Definitely some water. Bad smell, toxic fog, just put on gas mask and keep enjoying life. Man, I guess. Alright, day one, let's see what we got. All of us made into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. Remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. I mean, kinda. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Plus one, what is this? Or whatever that is. Our shelves are full of cans, we'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Alright. Give out our ration. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. In a way, not that much has changed. What we make up today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Mary Jane seems fine today, hopefully we'll stay that way. If there's anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Nothing to report on Timmy. Said head out. We'll schedule an expedition tomorrow. They can all live off in one day not having anything. We're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects. Or worse. It's worse. There are spiders and not some miniature ones, but huge. Fury and very creepy bees. We've got to do something about them. Uh, we didn't grab any insect repellent, so. Go for the Scott Handbook. A good book is a solution to any problem you encounter. This includes marauding spiders. A few precise hits and suddenly every spider is aware of what the word decimation means. We also found a misplaced soup can while hunting those pesky spiders. That was a bountiful hunt. Plus one soup. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Dolores going quite well. Or sorry. Dolores is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about today. They're all doing good. So they can... Oh, well, actually, no. Well, I'll give them all cans for the day. Let's see. Take head. 
Give him a gas mask. Right. See what happened tomorrow. Day four. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. He took the gas mask. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Dolores can't remain thirsty. All right, so everybody wants water today. That I can give. Stuff up here. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there still is much to be done. Like trimming that shrubbery in our yard. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here. I mean, whenever you guys can get out of there. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Yeah. Nobody's thirsty. Cool. Um, let's keep them like that. We can barely breathe in this damn shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be something wrong with the ventilation system. Maybe it's stuck. If that's the case, you need to look into fixing it right away. Trusty old scout handbook. Let's go. Alright, day six. Oh, he does not look good. Here's the handbook to research vent maintenance. Seemed like a fair idea. We figured if it's full of pointers on how to fix things, we must have a chapter on nu nuclear shelter air filtration. Before we could even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects which flew out of that cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. Oh, Timmy. Everybody got it slow. Timmy isn't feeling very well. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it still stays that way. Alright. Oh, we don't have anything for meds. Well, hope some soup will cure that. Where's the ball when we need one? We are really bored and we need something to occupy ourselves with. Too many hours of counting pipe droplets is nothing healthy. There has to be an alternative. Um, no kind of alternative a rifle is, but... Eh, it gets you something to do. <laughs> Ooh, that, that doesn't sound good. Alright. It's man second nature to hunt. We went to see if there's anything worth hunting outside. We ran into this nice looking man. But we started yelling loudly and waving our gun at him. He probably misunderstood the universe's gesture of peace. Because he fled before we could talk, but he left two cans of soup. Hey, there we go. Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. Timmy's been talking about nothing. Other than water, he should drink some. Alright, so everybody needs some water. Ooh, running low on water right here. We got nothing. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here. It doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. Probably do something to fix it. Yeah, about that. See, yeah, I got nothing for it. Sorry, guys. Alright, day eight. Damn, she is green. Doesn't look good. The world has ended. Who cares about showering? We can get used to it. Adapting shouldn't be hard. It'll be like a camping trip. It will. Oh no. That smells just terrible. Don't puke, don't. Officially stain cover parts of it. Okay. If we don't do anything about Timmy's sickness, it might get worse. Timmy's no longer thirsty. No longer thirsty, but everybody is down with sickness. Wah ha ha. Put some soup to help. I was able to keep track of time down here, but at least we remembered it's Timmy's birthday today. Hey, we don't die tomorrow. He's growing so fast, we should get him something very boy wants, which is which birthday. Scout handbook, come on. Got <coughs> to day nine, come on. Hopefully he gets back. I don't know if Timmy's ever going to be a boy scout after the apocalypse, but the scout handbook is deadly spider killer weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. Rather sick. We've done anything about the Lord's sickness. Timmy's looking very pale. That's not good. Uh, smart. Keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. We started thinking about getting away as far as possible from the radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We do it on our own, the escaping part, not the running part. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Yeah, I don't have a radio. Sorry. Those are the best, uh, those are the best stuff to get. Oh! Might be home. Day 10. Come on. I need some meds. Yeah, I don't see any meds. Damn it. 
there's one thing we need to do is to use radio and radar base to catch any emergency broadcast that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Kind of does. Had a safe return from its voyage. That's good. Local schools is a big building in my way from our house. Don't you like that place? We have a blast didn't change that either. Now, without windows and few walls remaining, it's even more unpleasant. Pleasant or not, it seems like a good spot to hunt for some useful supplies. Everybody adored the lunch lady. She was almost 80 and everything she touched tasted great and smelled of tomato. Having our secret. Tomato soup. Biology class had an aquarium, so they got some water. We got a map and we lost the... Oh, that's so we lost the gas mask. We're talking about nothing. Ted is hungry and is really tired. Okay. Spare some water. We're gonna need to make an expedition tomorrow. Breathe calmly. One, two, three. That's better. Don't panic. Don't panic. We need to open the door. The incident will probably to die. Open the door. Yes. So that was a comb to bite my ass. And they're all dead. <laughs> I hope not. Alright, everybody's sick. Let's go. Open the door and letting contaminate air was a great idea now. Instead of phobias, we need to deal with the vomiting. And I can't even... Can I do an expedition? Oh my god, I can't. Timmy, you're the only one. Give you that axe. Nobody needed to eat? Come on. Yeah, they're getting better. They're getting better. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Two went outside. Yep. Everybody's feeling good, alright. So what we got here. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop. Yet here we are, we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Should someone go answer it? You know what? He's already sick. What else? I mean not he can get any sicker. We answer the phone, we could clearly hear a gas relief from the caller. They choose themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. I mean, yeah, I would too. Ted's stomach is still rumbling. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. He needs some water. Drink water. Okay, everybody needs water and some more soup. Uh, there we go. Let's do that. We don't have that, and we don't have that. Okay. Good. Come on, Ted. We made it two weeks in. You can do this. Okay, say ignorance is a bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Ted keeps coughing. Ted's a little hungry. They're all good. Use some extra supplies. Last time we went on a supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. How about we send someone to investigate? Ted, you're I mean, you may not be, you know, 100%, but hey, you're full and you don't need to drink. Oh, that did not sound good at all. I think Ted might have died. Last thing expected was a giant explosion. We could hear the debris falling from the sky and hitting the sad remains of our house. The tank must have been booby trapped or contained vault side explosive. Why did we do it? Why? Oh. Well, at least he's not sick anymore. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path today. He's been fine for Dolores thus far. Alright, they don't need no food. Lifting our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot at the end of it. What? Kids first. Some of them are gonna come back, like Timmy. Like, come on. Oh, we got the radio. Oh no, this treasure hunt actually turned out to be fun, despite taking place in a radioactive dump that is our town. More importantly, though, it was successful. We managed to find a small package. Whatever is in it will definitely prove useful. We got one radio. We should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Mary Jane needs something to drink. Dolores has to drink. Okay. That's the last of our water. We need to plan an expedition. 
there's anyone who can rescue us from this hell situation, it's our government. Uh, you can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. Goddamn commies. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we never... Never mind, never mind, it's fine. Government people are coming, and we should keep our ears and eyes open for any sign of them. Alright. Okay. What next day happens? Day 17. Can we get to two weeks? Good news, government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from area. The announcer asks everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. No one's longer thirsty, so I don't have to do that. Alright. You get the hand. You get the rifle, just in case. Alright. Hopefully she comes back. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries. Dolores is fine. A woman came by with a creature she claims is a camel. The rider of the camels have five legs. The camel's carrying a pack of goods for trade. But would we need the radio for... Oh, we are low. Oh, we are hell low. You know what? We gotta make that chance. It's good with the trader, and she went her way before she left. She insisted that we should listen to our radio broadcast. Uh, how, what a thing to say right when you give her the radio. Alright, Dolores, drink some time, eat something. Okay, so soup and some water. Uh, I wish we could just leave, stay down here with barely anything to do. It's driving us crazy. I don't know that feeling. Hey, made it to 20 days. Let's go. We have to take care of ourselves, or will someone come to rescue? Yeah, I'm trying here. Someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious, but after a few minutes of talking, it turned out it was just a group of old ladies who were at a tea party, not far from here when the bomb dropped. We thought it would be... Oh, we thought it would only be good manners to talk to them face to face when we opened the door. The little bats attacked us with their umbrellas, came something that looked like a spiked table leg. We need to fight back. Ooh, Dolores might die. Oh, that didn't sound good. Alright, they took everything great. We couldn't hold the attackers off, and they stormed the shelter. They had enough mercy to let us live. But they had no second thoughts about robbing us and taking everything we own. Of course, it's fine as well. I mean... We opened the back door this morning and let in some fresh air. Some fresh radioactive air. Sort of small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it. The neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Well, I mean, what we have to lose at this point. Damn it, the gift was a poopy. Why? There was nothing inside besides some junk, and as soon as he opened the suitcase, it exploded. Anybody hurt? Dolores was hurt. Water is all Dolores wants. Dolores, we ain't got nothing for you, honey. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to go outside. Day 23. Little quickly called a group of friends, and we set out for what turned out to be a special mission to find the lost twin brother. What was our problem? He was hanging on top of some antenna next to the fence, trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he lost a hand, but the group quickly tended to his injuries. They'll be just fine. The siblings thanked us a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us again. We're no doctors, but we should help Dolores. Her wounds are pretty bad. Yeah, Dolores, we ain't... Oh, I'm sorry, honey, we got nothing. We can't even trade. Hopefully their daughter gets back. She, yeah, she's not looking too good. Refused to trade. Hopefully we made the right choice, so the trader was not too happy about it. Yeah, there she's gonna die. She can barely do anything. Again, nothing. Oh my god. She dies right as she comes back. And she had water and food. Oh, come on. 
Despite his desperate attempt to sell us all kinds of things, useless and not, we turned down the man's offer. It's probably for the better. He looked quite trust trustworthy. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Chain returning to the shelter from the surface. Her house and was completely destroyed. Paws and paws of luggage were lying between heaps of rubble. Only a few rooms alone. And those here are the restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. Plus one, plus one. And what was left of one of the rooms, two figures were playing chess. One was a skeleton and the other was a man in some kind of metal armor. They gave us their chessboard. They? Claiming they have a spare one. Only when we walked away did we discover they gave us checkers instead of chess. What a sick joke. Wow, she came back with so much stuff too. Oh. I five for 25 days. All right, guys, I'm going to call it quits for this episode. Hopefully we can get somewhere better in the next one. And always remember to hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.